So what originally was going to be a monitor comparison against a gaming monitor, a high resolution 4K portable monitor, and this lapel monitor turned into a massive headache. Because when it comes to portable monitors, they're not cheap. Not at all. But no matter what, the lapel monitor has always been like the best one that I've seen available in the market because it actually just works. For an example, again, this was supposed to be a comparison video against a gaming monitor, against a high resolution monitor, and a budget monitor for all users, all consumers and such. And no matter what, the lapel was the only one that outperformed all of them. Because let's be real. Its specs aren't that impressive when you compare it against the ASUS. This ASUS monitor, as a fine example, can go up to 144 hertz, and you could opt for a much higher one if you need that faster refresh rate. Now, this on monitor isn't bad at all, but there's a lot of issues and troubleshoot problems that I've experienced personally because this monitor actually needs to be recharged. As there is a 78 milliamp per hour battery internally, it does support rapid charging, but Rapid charging will take you an hour because ASUS market this monitor to be able to charge with a one hour charge should allow this monitor to dis display to be powered for two hours with those hertz. But there's no eco mode or anything like that where unlike the lapel and this other third party one, you just simply plug it into a USB-C port to a Mac computer or another computer that has support for USB-C power and display off the laptop or monitor or desktop that you're using, that's enough to power on the monitor without having an external source of power or to be required to recharge it. The ASUS monitor, short summary, I've always experienced troubleshoot problems. Sometimes it will turn on, sometimes it won't, sometimes it charges, sometimes it doesn't charge correctly. And the power brick and the adapter that they provide is kind of bulky and unnecessary. Like you have to use this USB-A to USB-C adapter in order to use their provided power brick. And if you use a third party one, it has a high chance of damaging it because when I was charging it this way, I noticed that the monitor was overheating to an unsafe temperature. So I stopped using that and went back to the ASUS power adapter that they provide, which is neat. They did provide everything for this monitor, but in actuality, this monitor is a headache. Now, this other monitor, this is a 4K monitor, but in actuality, if you plug it into a computer like this MacBook Pro with a high resolution with this liquid retina display, the real estate space that it gives you is unnecessarily big. 1080p is like the sweet spot to actually operate this monitor. And the price tag is as expensive like the ASUS monitor. And all you're really sacrificing is the 4K resolution because the refresh rate is the exact same refresh rate that you find on this lapel monitor, which you could find it on sale most of the time, fluctuating between the 160 to $200. That is almost half the cost of these other ones. And this monitor actually has, has a refresh rate up to 60 Hertz. And then its brightness is exactly the same like the other monitor like the 4K monitor, 300 nits as well. In fact, all three of these brightness displays can go up to 300 nits. Not that bright, but enough to complete computer tasks day to day with a little bit of gaming. And then the lapel actually handles gaming extremely well as there's no tearing issues whatsoever. And it is an IPS display, which this can be a pro and a con. The pro being this is perfect for graphic designers when needed, video editing, but most importantly, documents typing in Excel and stuff like this. If you need that portable workspace to go along with your laptop in case you need that extra real estate space, the lapel monitor hands down is the best value, especially in today's market, because once you just plug it in, it just works. You don't have to fiddle with anything unlike these two. Now, I'm not trying to sound like a hater, just this video became into a headache because originally I was trying to make everything fair game, but there's a lot of troubleshooting problems. It just, uh, I can't take it anymore. I have to speak the truth. Hands down, the Lipal portable monitor is the best value for all consumers. It has the same 1000 to one contrast ratio. I don't know why this 4K one is promoting that when even the lapel is promoting the same spec. And yes, all three of these do have a built-in speaker, but, but they don't sound incredibly good to begin with. I highly recommend using the dedicated speaker on your MacBook Pro or your desktop computer. But if you need to, the speakers on the lapel will get the job done. Just it will sound tinty because after all, it's a monitor display speaker. These aren't supposed to sound really good in the first place. Now it does have a cool folio design with the lapel where you can actually just use this as the built-in kickstand 
And once you're done, you can just fold it up and it'll protect the screen, preventing any scratch or marks from occurring when you're traveling with your portable office. Now you have all the important IO ports on the side. You have everything from a mini HDMI, which they do provide that cable HDMI to plug it into like a gaming console and such. And when you plug it in via an HDMI, since there's no power going through it, they do provide an additional power adapter. So you can wall connect it to the wall so the display can turn on. But if you're using like a Mac computer in our case, you just plug it in USB to USB and then it's able to display the display image and the power, including the audio. Now the overall build structure of the lapel monitor is actually made out of aluminum. It's actually really sturdy and rugged compared to the Asus one. As a final example, this one's plastic. It's extremely flexible, not a bad thing. Still is a solid feeling monitor. It's not gonna fall or break apart anytime soon. But in terms of overall build structure, the lapel all aluminum body feels nice and solid, especially when you hold it in your hands. And then in terms of display settings, there's a lot of display settings available right here, but I think I was disappointed to find out is with the expensive 4K monitors I previously mentioned, it actually shares the same interface like this, like this $160 monitor has. In other words, I'm starting to think these two companies are just sharing parts. Again, with this monitor, even by looking at its box, I'm pretty sure all you're really paying for is $100 more just so it could stretch the screen to 4K and honestly it doesn't really feel like 4K. Now this monitor is a 15.5 inch display IPS one more time just like all the other two in this video. It's 1080p full high definition which makes movie watching really pleasant. So if you need that extra real estate space and you're looking for a portable monitor that just works, no need to recharge or anything like that, or carry a bunch of cables, all you really need is just a USB-C cable to USB-C if you're using a MacBook. The lapel 15 inch is definitely the one I would highly recommend all to definitely consider. But I guess if you do need that gaming portable monitor, if you're okay sacrificing to carry around a power adapter and remember to charge it once in a while, for just up to three hours of display usage. That's basically Asus estimate time that will take this monitor to continue displaying the display under a single charge. So one full charge will allow this monitor to last up to three hours. I guess you could consider the Asus one. I'm not saying it's a bad monitor, just be prepared to troubleshoot it once in a while. But again, hands down, the lapel is actually the best one, even when it comes to gaming. You, there's, here's real life gameplay footage of me playing Apex. There's no screen tear or anything like that. Everything was easy to view. I was able to shoot down this enemy extremely easy without any issues, even with that small display. So there you guys have it. I'm sorry if this was an unprofessional style video that you're used to. Just this video was a headache to make. And I actually purchased these two out of pocket and they weren't cheap. And now this one doesn't work at all. So during the time making this video, unfortunately it was turned off to the most part. I only had like one day to use it, but maybe mine's DOA. Unfortunately, yeah, it, it died. Headache. This one overly priced for 4K. That doesn't even look like 4K. Here, I'll show you. So here it is plugged in while editing the video. Look at this, this is unusable. And this is the 4K and if I move this window over here, look what it does. Makes it super small, but not only that, the mouse is also insanely small to the point where nothing is usable here. And yes, I have gone to the display settings and changed the resolution. And the best one, even at 1080p, if we go into display settings real quick, If we switch to the 1080p, look what it does. This is kind of wonky looking. It doesn't look correct, but it looks better. That's for sure. Like it's actually usable, but again, this is not 4K. The lapel one, these things are actually phenomenal and they just work. It makes a lot of sense why they have this many reviews on Amazon. So save yourself the headache. If you need a portable monitor for work purposes, maybe a little bit of gaming and watching mu movies, lapel, 15 inch is the one that I personally recommend. If you got some good useful information out of this video, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you actually leave this video a like. Seriously, please leave this video a like. This was frustrating to make. And get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of straight, honest tech videos just like this. If you'd like to catch me live, I do stream on the weekends on Twitch. Feel free to stop by and say hi. I'll have that linked in the description down below, as well as the monitor with an affiliate link. 
that will help support the channel. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and check out this video over here. Is that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you? Then that video over there, that's just the most recent upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.